Something that not many people have ever been able to do and uh, I must tell you this is an absolute privilege and we are going to educate you what nuclear is all about and the person who is responsible for that is with me now and uh, Tolise uh, Mabango is with me, he's the Group Executive of Corporate Services at Nexa. It is so good to have you with us and uh, I suppose I should say thank you very much for allowing us to come in here. It's a pleasure to talk to you uh, yeah. so that we can inform the listeners about the work that is, is being done on the safari reactor. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's simplify this because I'm sure a lot of people don't have a clue about the work that is actually being done here. What happens here? There are two main uses of this reactor. Firstly, we conduct uh, scientific uh, te and technical research, I will explain. But the second and most important uh, use for South Africa is the production of isotopes, medical isotopes. These are tracers that doctors inject into your body to detect uh, various diseases, including cancer. So the Safari Research Reactor has made South Africa to be a biggest world player on nuclear medicine. So South Africa, um, when we look at world rankings, I, I believe we are number two here in Pelandaba. This is the second largest in the world, I think, after Canada. Is that correct? Yes, South Africa today is, a, is the second biggest world producer of medical isotopes. In particular, the isotope called molybdenum-99 that is used mainly in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases such as cancer. We export it from Pelindaba to more than 60 countries around the world. The export itself is a very complex uh, undertaking because these isotopes have got a very short half-life of 66 hours. The moment it is produced and packaged, it starts decaying. So therefore, South Africa has also mastered this capability to export it to so many countries uh, within reasonable periods. Mm -hmm. But it saves millions of lives all over the world uh, from Pelindaba. It has to be taken and transported to a hospital in any country and be immediately utilized on a patient who's lying and waiting for this uh, product. So it is a very important and a very significant output of this research reactor. What consumers or consumer products actually benefit from the existence of something like this? Well, here in, in Safari, I mean, I, I, the main thing here would be the, the medical isotopes, but also other, in, in petrochemicals, some of the other isotopes that are produced here are used to test uh, the integrity of materials. You can take some of them and, and put them in, a, for example, in an oil pipeline, just to see uh, if there are any leakage or any breakages. And with that, you are able to, to identify. So those are some of the, of the uses. Uh, but I can mention that also here at Pelindaba, Another subsidiary of ours called Pelchem, it produces uh, fluorochemicals which are used from toothpaste to frying pans to TV screens to cell phone screens. So we also uh, use, uh, that is also um, a product of the nuclear industry. It's also produced here at Pelindaba. So we export fluorochemicals to more than 25 countries yeah. and, uh, and it's used in, in daily lives. I mean, your toothpaste, your frying yeah. pan, your TV screen. Also, your petrol tanks, we have a very important technique called uh, surface fluorination, where we take a petrol tank of a car, a plastic petrol tank, and we fluorinate it so that it can, uh, it can be uh, retain its form. Because if you took uh, petrol and put it in a plastic container without fluorinating it, then there would be a chemical reaction between the petrol and the plastic. So it would be deformed, it may not be useful. So those are some of the day-to-day -day uses that, uh, that we have from uh, nuclear products. It's important for people to know that uh, whenever people talk about nuclear, sometimes it's a scarecrow, yeah. people fear this and that, but they don't know that nuclear is actually in their own daily lives. That's why at Nexa, our tagline says, we're in your world. Yeah. We mean that every day you interact with nuclear in one way or the other. Yeah. Interesting. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't. All right. Listen, thank you. Thank you so much for filling us in on uh, how it works for us every single day in our lives. And it happens here. And it's just really, really fascinating. It really is. Thanks so much for talking to us and for having us here.